Hi everyone, it's Shannon and welcome to the Cozy Christmas Cottage. By now, most of us probably have taken down a lot of our Christmas decor and one way I like to kind of transition from Christmas into the new year is to still leave up some of my winter decor. So my home still has that cozy feeling and it still has a little bit of touch of Christmas in it, but it has a completely different look. So today I have several different quick and easy wintertime DIYs for you. So let's go ahead and dash right into these projects. First up are these cute and cozy mittens you can use for decor. Either dig out some old mittens that you may have, or I will link the ones I'm using down in the description box below. You'll also need some type of twine, a needle, and some greenery. I'm just taking some jute and actually feeding it right through the back side of one of the mittens and then through the back side of the other mitten and tying some knots so that they will stay together. And then that is what we're gonna use to hang our mittens with. Once you have the knot secured in your twine, you can add some sprigs of greenery into the tops of the mittens. The greenery that I'm using is from Hobby Lobby and I actually really, really like it because it also has some little miniature pine cones added in there. So it kind of adds that extra special little touch of winter as well. So you can see here I have hung mine from the front of a small antique sled. These would be really cute on a front door, on a mantle, or even on your front porch to welcome your friends and family with. Next are some snowflake coasters. I'm starting with some wooden coasters that are pre-made. You can find these at Hobby Lobby for only $3.99, which makes each coaster only $1 each. And then all I did was use a white chalk marker, which I'll link down in the description box below too. You can find these on Amazon. I love them so much. They look really pretty against the wood background of these coasters. And I just had fun creating my own designs of snowflakes on the front. I did have to go back over the designs one more time with the white marker to make sure they were kind of dark enough because um, the wood does kind of soak in the ink of the marker. Now it is time for the emoji of the day, which is a snowman. So leave me those snowman emojis down in the comment section below. If you don't have emojis, you can just leave the word snowman. These would be really cute in your family room or even on a coffee bar. And what I like most about these wood coasters is that you can actually paint over them and use them for the next season or holiday or even Mod Podge on the top and use them for more than just winter. This is a cute way to transform a simple mirror, which is from Dollar Tree. I have my white chalk marker and white chalk paint to give this mirror a frosty look. So I'm starting with my white chalk marker first and I'm writing, baby it's cold outside onto the front. The wonders of life got the prettiest side for everyone to enjoy. Standing up close by the Christmas tree Glimmering light, I am right where I want to be I'll be home for a couple of days Wander around with you You and me in the cold, thought it'd never be true Wherever I go, I got you Oh, I have stopped running, there is no way trying You better loosen your belt then to get that frosted window look, I took a sponge and my white chalk paint and just dabbed the paint lightly around all of the edges. 
and just give it that frosty, wintry feel. Do you like to be here too? It's Christmas Outside snow's glistening It's just you and me tonight I'll spend all this Christmas with you Candles are a must for me during the winter months because it adds that touch of warmth to our home. So this is a super simple and easy way to make a luminary with a cylinder that you can find at Dollar Tree. I'm taking my white chalk paint and creating spikes or upside down triangles uh, to give the top a icicle type look. So I just did lots of different sizes and went all the way around the top of this space. It is that time of the year Drinking hot wine by the fire Here on our own we got nothing to fear It's Christmas And some kind of love, my friend Pick up some candy canes And hang a wreath on your door Once I got all the way around the vase, I also added some paint around the top rim to finish it off. I'm adding a round mirror from Dollar Tree and filling the luminary with salt or sugar to give it a snowy look and also popping in a Dollar Tree pillar candle. This is a little bit different take on the traditional snow globe. All of the supplies I'm gonna be using are from Dollar Tree, but you just basically wanna make sure you have a small jar and some type of snowflake like these wooden cutouts that I have to hang from the jar lid. So these of course are wood shapes and so I wanted them to look more like snowflakes. So I popped the uh, foam dots that were on the backs off of the snowflakes, painted them white, and then while they were still wet, I sprinkled a little bit of silver glitter on top. Once the paint was dry, I glued some white yarn onto the backs of the snowflakes. If I would have had some clear fishing string, I probably would have used that instead, but I improvised with what I had and just hung some longer strands and then decided about the lengths and cut them down shorter as I add added them and hot glued them to the inside top of the lid. Again, you can use sugar or salt to fill the inside bottom of your jar. And then I had some pretty rhinestones from Dollar Tree on like a ribbon style uh, strip and decided to hot glue that around the top edge of the snow globe. Of course, this is optional. This was just kind of to add a little bit of sparkle to the snow globe. I would love to know which one of these five wintertime DIYs was your favorite. You can leave those down in the comment section below. Please hit that subscribe button if you haven't yet, and I'll have more wintertime DIYs and inspiration popping up on your screen that you can check out next. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll see you next time. Happy holidays.